What's going on YouTube family? This is your T and I'm back with another video talking about Cash App and stocks for beginners. Uh, I just want to give you guys an update on my portfolio. Uh, I'm going to answer a few questions. Well, I'm going to answer a few questions um, that you guys left on the previous videos. Uh, we are up to 100 subscribers, so I appreciate that too. I want to say thank you for that. And uh, this video is just going to be like a kind of like a pilot video uh, just in regards to hitting multiple topics. Uh, so try to keep up with me. Um, if you have questions on something I say, as always, leave a comment, uh, share it to other people. You know, I want to help people out as much as possible. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I like to start off with the questions. Uh, let's see. Yo, just finished high school, working a job and trying to get to the money. <laughs> I feel you on that. If you have a discord or something, do you mind telling me more to get started? I do not have a discord. Um, I think discord is like what? Uh, messaging app right or something like that i don't have a discord but just hit me up on youtube just keep leaving comments or uh i don't know we can find a way to get in contact with each other leave your email maybe in the comments uh someone said do you sell stocks or do you hold them um i do it both i do both and i'm actually gonna hit a very important topic today in regards to selling and holding um when it comes to stocks, like I said in all my other videos, they go up and down. Make sure you have a strong pull out game. <laughs> yes, I said it. Make sure you got a strong pull out game because uh, you don't want to say, oh, I'm just going to let my stocks just sit and wait and I'm going to hold them and this, this, this and end up losing money when you actually were up. Uh, I had a situation with the stock. I'll probably get into it later in the video, but let's just say it went up and I had certain amount of profit and then it started dropping down and actually my wife let me know she was like hey you might want to pull your money out of this stock and i'm like nah babe, it'll, it'll go up and she's like no you might want to take it out so i took my money out and the best decision i made so listen sometimes you just gotta you just gotta listen so uh, i'll get into that uh also another question was is putting just a dollar on a stock even worth it so that's a that's a good one um Honestly, I said no, but I'm only saying no in regards to what stock it is, because there are some. Well, I found the stock that I'm currently invested in. That's a dollar and some change right now. So if you saying, oh, it's even putting a dollar in. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's worth a dollar right now. Uh, you never know if it'll go up or if it'll go down, but you never know. It might skyrocket up. So. I'm going to say yes and no. The reason why I say no is because if you're looking at big stocks like Apple or let's just say a Target or Kroger, uh, your one dollar is not going to even budge. You might get a couple cents just to see, just to get used to it. I think starting at a dollar, you can kind of see how the chart goes up, how the money goes up. But if you're trying to get like a profit of $20 or more, you might want to invest more than just a dollar. So that dollar really not going to carry itself. Uh, too far um so that's my spill on the dollar investment uh but if you're investing dollars every single day trying to work towards actual owning a full stock then that's another thing if you're going to do penny pinch like dollar try five dollars or try ten dollars a day or try twenty dollars a week or something you know just so in five weeks maybe you can put a total of hundred dollars that's invested into a one stock and you never know that might be you know, considered a full uh, stock price. You know, you might have a full stock then. So I appreciate the response. I'm looking out for the next video. Oh, doing it right now, boss. <laughs> doing it right now. So uh, with that being said, I just figured I get on here and I'm not really feeling too well, uh, but I'm going to push through it. So let me go ahead and open up the cash app. And let me show you where I'm at. Uh, all right, so the reason why I'm doing this video today too is to show you guys the stock market live. Uh, right now it's 2.20, um, what's the date? April 11th, um, so yeah. So right now my current my current uh, amount that I have available to cash out, $2,060.71. Um, total investment amount is 1946.52. My gain is $114. Um, I guess y'all like, well, you had to put in a thousand just to get a hundred back. Mm, debatable. Uh, cause I was up higher than that. You know, the stops, like I said, go up and down. Uh, 
this thought that I wanted to talk to you guys about is when to know how to when to know when to pull out. <laughs> uh, make sure you pull out game is strong. Is the Sono Group? I had readily what it was. As you said, I sold eight. What it was eight hundred. I sold it for eight hundred and two dollars. Um, I got my money out and then I reinvested uh, two thirty six because it went down and I wanted my <laughs> I wanted a good chunk of it. So I I actually made some money from that. Uh, right now the stock price is four sixty one. And I'm only down twelve dollars versus being down, you know, a hundred or two hundred, and they have to wait to for it to come back up just to shoot back up. So that was one of the stocks that I was like, you know, you got to know when to take your money out. Don't never take your money out in the negative. That's another personal uh, thing I try to focus on. If you see it in the negative, just add more money into it and let it go up. Once you get to a certain point or back to zero, take your money out. You know what I'm saying? So this is a perfect example. Water drop. Um, if you see I zero flat, if I cash out right now, I would probably lose a couple of cent versus, you know, 18 or 20 dollars. So you kind of just got a ballpark. It. Uh, but anyways, to continue also the question about the dollar stock, this share price right now is 144. Water drop is an insurance company. I did some research on it. It's in uh, China. Let me go to it. Yeah, it's in China. Uh, no, I didn't just do research on Cash App. I actually went to Google and other websites that uh, spoke on this particular uh, stock and company. Um, so I like kind of the direction they were going in. They are a brand new company uh, starting all the way in May, May 7, 2021. Um, so it's dropping. I, I had a theory that, you know, if you go to all... If it's uh, progressing up, if you go to year, it's, if it's progressing up month, week and all, and, I mean, day, uh, then it, it's a, probably a good stock to invest in. Uh, in this case, it's brand new, so you don't really know what it's going to do. Uh, so I took a chance on it. Being that it's only a dollar, I invested $147 into the stock itself. So I have 102 shares right now. If that goes up, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's it's better to have a hundred and something shares versus let me go to my ETF. Versus my ETF where I have three hundred in and I don't even have a full share. Um and that also goes back to uh putting, you know, penny stocks in, like putting a dollar in, putting five in, because I'm not quite at a full share, but if I put in twenty, thirty more dollars, I potentially could have a, a complete full share. Um People say, well, okay, Corey, well, how are they coming up with this number at the top right? You got 402.84. Uh, how do you kind of predict your gains? So what you do is go to shares own. In this case, I have, I'm going to make it simple. I ain't going to make you do all the decimals. Well, I, I could just do it. Uh, 0 0.9928. You times that by the current share price. Current share price is... Four or five. So, back later. So wait, I said. And then times that by four or five. Point seven seven. Double checking. All right. And that's four two eighty four. That's how they get four two eighty six. It's kind of rounded. It's going up and down. Uh, also, I didn't put all the, you know. All the integers behind my two eight, so that's a part of the reason why you see that gap. But that's how you could that's how you calculate the the amount your profit. So let's go to water drop real quick. It's on Bitcoin. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, let's go to water drop. Right now, share price is one forty four. Same thing, one forty four times the shares that you own is how much your profit technically should be. Um, if you invested. 147 and the stock price went down you will see that amount you know within the price of your return if it's a positive negative return um what else we got here uh another thing that i want to hit on to in today's video is making sure people always say well how do you know what to invest in the new game that i like to play is let's watch the percentage the daily percentage so i go to 
sort by daily percentage of the uh, of the stocks that I'm following. Excuse me. And if I see AT and T is seven point seven point two two percent up, I'm not going to invest in. Me personally, right now, I'm not going to invest in AT and T because they're already up. I'm going to go to the companies that are down because it's an up and down game. If they're down now, nine times out of ten, they're going to come back up, and also it might be a good time to buy. Prime example, let's go to Coinbase. Let's see what they say. Moderate buy. Moderate buy is simply because they're down. They potentially might still go down, but nine times out of ten, that's just today's you know percentage. So they might shoot back up. If you go to Let's go to like Martin. Let's go to Martin. They're going to say probably hold moderate. Oh, moderate by two. Let's see. What are they at? Oh, they only up 0.88% anyway. So that's not really too high. Let's go to something like at t Let's see what at t says. Hold. That's the point that I was trying to make right there. So they're up right now. Hold on to that stock. It might go up. It might go down. Uh, if you buy it now. You might see a small return. Uh, if it drops down, then you kind of bought at a high point. You don't want to buy high. You want to buy low. You want to sell high. So that's the whole theory behind, you know, understanding that portion of it. These, I'm going to uh, slow down for you because some people show videos and they just go fast up the up the stocks they have. These are the stocks that I have. User testing, Kroger, Chesapeake Energy, Vanguard, 500 ETF, water drop, and so on. Um. I wanted to hit on this ETF real quick, uh, simply because I was trying to do a three month uh, watch type thing. So I bought it in February 23. So April 20, April 23rd, I am going to see what it's at. If it's not increased by nothing, I'm not really going to, I might sell it uh, simply because it's a very expensive stock and I could take that 300 and disperse it into multiple other stocks that might go up faster or, you know, it might have a better return in another stock personally. Plus I don't even own a full share. So that might be another reason. Total gain is not $7 out of what? Three months. That don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? So I should just sell it now, but it don't even make sense. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, worst part is if it go up, I kind of miss out. If not, then I kind of did the right thing. Um, so that's just what I want to show you guys for today. Uh, like I say, that's the new game that I play. I sort by daily percentage. See who's low. Kind of make a judgment call. Okay, y'all. 57. Because it's low. All the time high was at... Hmm. 79, 80, something. So, up and down game, and then you can see it going back up as time goes on, just for that stock. But, uh, with that being said, yeah, that's just an update on my portfolio. Uh, I had other stocks here before. I did sell. Um, it's kind of hard to justify selling or not. Um, one thing that I do, uh, I wish I could do better of is showing you guys when I sell because then you would get an understanding of like, oh, well, I see you sold this one, but you didn't talk about it. Um, only simply because I'm I'm at work and I can't make a video and say, hey, I just sold a stock. Like I either make a choice, a split decision right then and there, like, hey, I want to make this fifty-two dollars real quick <laughs> and then be out of there. And I don't come home and just oh, I'm gonna make a video about me selling the stock because then I'll be making thousands of videos about certain stocks that I sell every day. Uh, and don't get it twisted. I don't sell stocks every day. I'm just hypothetically speaking. Uh, and plus cash app don't let you cash up. Doesn't let you uh, cash out. I mean, not cash out. They don't let you buy and sell, keep continuously buy and sell stocks uh, all day. I think that a five, uh, five limit. I think the limit is five. You can uh, sell five different stocks or five of the same stocks. Like if I buy and then sell, buy and sell the same stock, it it kind of flag you because they don't want you to do day trading as as mentioned before too. But with that being said, that's my that's my update. That's where I'm at. Um and I if y'all if y'all have been helped or if this video has helped in any shape any way, shape or form, let me know. Um so yeah. 
with that being said, it's your boy Corey T. Thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah. Decompress my emotions. Yeah. Limitations on time. Yeah. My heart beat with other feelings. She say what's on your mind. Oh, I can't wanna get fucked up because we're fucked up. Should've waste my time. Uh. But enough switched up, but nigga for stuck. I be them fast in this line. Yeah. Uh. Decompress my emotions. Yeah. Limitations on time. Yeah. My heart beat with other feelings. She